Kanban board for process jobs is a new interface for manufacturing and shop floor users for lean manufacturing in Microsoft Dynamics AX. With the architecture of production flow activities, lean manufacturing for Microsoft Dynamics AX now supports a huge variety of different manufacturing scenarios. All these scenarios are supported by a single Kanban board for process jobs. This video explains the structure and the principles of working of this new user interface based on the predefined production scenarios in the Microsoft Dynamics AX demo data. Open the Kanban board for process jobs and the production control common lean manufacturing Kanban board for process jobs. The Kanban board consists of multiple components. The Kanban job list, the details area, and on the right side the fast tabs for additional information. By default, the Kanban board for process jobs is always opened with the work cell that has been worked on before. You can change the work cell by selecting a different work cell. The Kanban job list can be filtered with the job details settings. In these settings you can define the number of Kanban jobs by job status that has to be displayed. In our example you can reduce the number of jobs that are planned to 10. Which would only show the next 10 planned jobs. You could also reduce this to 1. The job detail settings also allow you to show a number of completed jobs. These jobs cannot be worked on, they are just showed for information. With the job details filtering you can configure the dialog for different purposes and different roles. The job list shows the Kanban jobs according to the filter of the job details. Jobs are always displayed in the sequence of job starters. Within the job starters they are displayed in the sequence of scheduling. The sequence of scheduling consists of the planned period, which can be a day or a week, and the sequence within the period. The sequence can only be changed on the Kanban scheduling board. However, you can use different filters to filter on different information, like the item number or an activity name. When selecting a single job in the list, the Details tab shows the, the details of the selected job. When multi-selecting jobs, the view automatically switches to the Picking List view, which shows you a summary of the needed material for all the selected jobs. If production instructions are configured for a specific item, you can show the production instructions in the production instructions tab. Production instructions are attached as documents to the item number or to the Kanban rule. If a Kanban job depends on other Kanbans, the item pegging and the supply status is derived from the status of the packed Kanban. You can view the details of the packed Kanbans in the packing tab. These are the Kanbans that need to be fulfilled to be able to prepare the selected jobs. The Kanban board for process jobs can be used for any job status change. The possible job status changes on Kanban jobs are prepare, start and complete.
with the preparation, the material that needs to be picked from the picking list is updated from the inventory. Once prepared, the job status of the job switches to prepared. Starting the job registers the job as started. The job status is now in progress. To complete a job, we can use the complete button without details or the completion with details. Completion without details will complete the job with the original requested quantity. If quantity has to be reported in, in, in detail, you have to use the report quantity details. Remark that preparation and start are optional statuses. You can complete a job without explicit preparation or start. However, all updates that the status changes, prepare and start, would do are also done when completing. Instead of using the buttons in the action pane, you can use barcode scanners to scan Kanban card numbers to register job status events. You can do this for each status with selecting the scan mode. By setting the scan mode to prepare and scanning of the card number, Kanban job can be prepared. By setting the scan mode to complete, the Kanban can be completed. You can set the scan mode to start and complete. On the first scan, the job would be started. On the second scan, it would be completed. Open the Messages tab to see the messages created in relation to barcode scanning. Entering a wrong card would create a message here. Entering a card that cannot support the requested status change would also create a message. An important information about the status of the Kanbans in the work cell is the Kanban quantity overview. The Kanban Quantity Overview for Finished Goods shows the status of the Kanban and Kanban rules related to the work cell for all finished goods provided by the work cell. The worker on the shop floor supervisor can see in the Kanban Quantity Overview whether an item is overdue. It is also possible to use an unplanned job and plan it, which means it will be added to the list. It could now be completed right away. With the completion of the Kanban job, the Kanban quantity overview is automatically updated. So this overview always keeps track of the actual situation of the material produced out of the work cell. When a Kanban job is completed, the life cycle of the Kanban is not done yet. The Kanban still exists in relation to a handling unit in a supermarket. This is shown with the completed check mark of the Kanbans. When a handling unit has been emptied, the Kanban needs to be reported as empty. This can be done manually. For this, select the Kanban. With right click you can check if you have selected the right Kanban in the quantity overview. And select the empty function. Emptying the Kanban will automatically recreate a new Kanban if a fixed quantity rule is used. You can also use the barcode scanning for empty. Again a new Kanban will be created and the Kanban would automatically create a new job that is automatically planned. Lean manufacturing work cells can consume material from inventory. They can also consume material from other Kanbans. The situation of the material provided by Kanbans of a work cell can be viewed in the Kanban quantity overview of material. This overview shows you the availability of Kanbans according to their Kanban rules that supply the selected work cell. Let us assume that two boxes of material have just been emptied. No more material for this job is available to pick. To be able to start picking, new material has to be replenished from a supermarket. In this scenario, the material is pulled from a warehouse with a transfer job. The transfer jobs can be seen in the transfer job overview. 
You can select and complete transfer jobs with the start and complete transfer jobs, which would make new material available. You can also use the complete transfer scan mode to start scanning transfers. By registering the transfer, the material is made available for the job and can now be completed. You can use the Kanban board for process jobs in a, in a scan mode by resizing the form. This form can now be used on a mobile device. In Microsoft Dynamics H 2012, all actions and all information needed for manufacturing is displayed in a single user interface. That can be shaped for individual use by opening, closing and resizing the areas and fast tabs based on an individual need. The integrated barcode support for all Kanban job functions and the Kanban quantity overviews improve usability and combine rich content with the simplicity of use.